We approach Earth Day. A local developer is planning to break a world record with a new skyscraper in Brooklyn. Hannah Klieger is taking a look at the passive house trend and why one block is being developed as the most sustainable in the borough. Another change for the dynamic downtown Brooklyn skyline. The alloy block at the crossroads of State Street, 3rd and Flatbush Avenues is expected to become the most sustainable block in Brooklyn, according to David McCarty of Alloy Development. If we're going to tackle climate change in New York City, we need to decarbonize our buildings. There's the recent completion of New York's first all-electric skyscraper, then the creation of two of the city's first passive house public schools, and steps away the anticipated construction of a new passive house skyscraper that McCarty says will shatter a world record. But what is a passive house? Passive house is a um, European building, building energy efficiency standard, airtight building envelope, a lot of insulation. Once construction is complete in about four years, developers say this will become the tallest passive house skyscraper in the world. It's the first time that any building of this scale has ever uh, achieved passive house certification. Michael Ingui is an architect and founder of the Passive House Accelerator. A kind of a free online place where people can learn how to do passive house. It's a knowledge accelerator. He also lives in a passive house brownstone in Carroll Gardens. He says the first thing you notice when you walk into the airtight building is how quiet it gets. So you've got this really nice um, house that's sealed with filtered fresh air 24 7. The windows are super quiet. The second thing you may notice? You really barely need to heat the house. It's hard to know how many passive houses exist in the city, but Ingwi provided a map from his accelerator that shows dozens of buildings, some new, some historic, some even landmarked, making sustainability strides in the city. All of a sudden, you're breathing new lives into these old buildings that at one point were the old, drafty, difficult buildings to deal with. Back in downtown Brooklyn, the alloy block will bring more than a thousand affordable and market rate homes to an already bustling neighborhood. Hannah Klieger, CBS News, New York. And stay with us during this Earth Month, continuing coverage on ways to protect the planet throughout April.